Welcome back, collective. Let's get right into your message. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you humbly and we thank you. We are so grateful for the love, the kindness, all that you do for us, Father. Thank you for imparting wisdom. Thank you for imparting knowledge. Thank you for correcting us in areas of our mind or our mindset or our perception has been off. We are very grateful to you, Lord. We are open and welcoming you and your Holy Spirit. We bind and rebuke all demonic energy, all forms of evil, word curses or magic, witchcraft or anything sent against us, sent against the messages that we receive, the blessings that you've given us, our children, our loved ones, sent against this channel, the collective or, or myself. Father, we reject and rebuke the work of the enemy and we are only open to you and your Holy Spirit, Father. Please speak and we will listen. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Okay. Hi, collective. <laughs> So, um, somebody really sees you as like, you are currently living in the present. Someone feels like you're not focused on the past. You're not worried about the past. Um, like if this was, you know, like this is someone that sees that you live in the moment, meaning whatever happened in the past is not bringing any issues to you. And it's not, um, it's not like making you triggered from the past and it's not bringing you fear for your future. It's like you're in the present moment right here and right now. Like you're very aware of what's going on. You are living your life with, you know, conscious efforts. Um, but somebody feels like you're not taking action towards them. And this makes this person feel like them... Or this is somebody not wanting to take, not taking action towards you. Just put it how it fits. There's a lack of um, action taken here on your part or, or their part. It seems like this person is really feeling like they should have um, taken action and come towards you. Just really being focused on the here and now for themselves. Um, they see that this is where you are. Your mindset is upward and onward, you know. Um, this person feels like they were unrealistic to think that they could replace you or to think that they could replace the level of wisdom and knowledge, the understanding that you have with King Solomon. This is someone that feels like, you know, you carry a certain level of qualities that are irreplaceable and for them to not see the level of insight and wisdom that you have, the level of integrity and morality, you know, like you stand in a very fair and firm decision-making energy, you know, like there's so much about you that this person feels like you're one of a kind, literally. And it was them not seeing things very clearly, not having a clear understanding of just how deep your wisdom, your knowledge, your inspiration, your ambition, like the entire package of who you are is irreplaceable. There's a certain level of experience that you've always had, you know, like you learn very quickly from your lessons or from um, past failures or whatever. And this is what aids this, this supernatural knowledge, but then also like you having this wisdom. This person feels like anytime they get in a situation and they feel stiff or they feel rigid, they feel like they're not seeing from a fresh space. They're not seeing it from a different perspective or they're being, um, you know, like really hard about something. This is when they start to hear your voice. This is when they really start to acknowledge, okay, this voice on the inside of this person's mind is, this is your voice that they hear. Or this is a motherly energy, a mother energy. So this is either a mother energy regarding you that they hear in their voice that is really kind of reminding this person and showing them a different perspective. Or this is the mother energy that they hear in their mind when they know that they need to see things from a different perspective. It's always you that that is that uh, representative for them. So this is like, their, <laughs> you know, like their starting point or this is how they use to compare 
if they're in a rigid energy or if they're being stiff or stubborn or whatever. And it's like, it's undeniable, you know, it's undeniable. This person has even gained a certain level of wisdom themselves and, you know, putting the things that you've told them to action and experiencing a great result from that. And then wanting to pass that knowledge on to someone else or to others. And this is what they're thinking about now. And this kind of like, this makes this person's, like their pride gets knocked down, is knocked down with this. Because this is somebody that feels like, okay, the divine is intervening for sure. And, and things are definitely different. There's a change now. Something has happened. This could be an upheaval. This could be um, something happened suddenly or whatever. But whatever it is that this person is hearing, this inner voice, it's speaking. it was speaking wisdom to them. And what they see is that So this person is seeing, because I have ta the tower and I have Pharaoh. So someone is seeing that this is like a rude awakening for them that, you know, they were oppressive to a certain degree. And it was in a way where this person was expecting, um, you know, just expecting you to continually just be eager, willing, and wanting to build something for them to, it's like if they were being oppressive in any kind of way, where it's like, whatever it is that you do benefits them but it's completely one-sided. And this is like, you know, this is not the kind of connection, like this is not a spousal kind of thing. Like not for, for hang on. Shiloh, squeezers, stop it. Come here. Yeah, so it's like the divine had to intervene because there was some oppressive behaviors here. This is almost like you working for free, you doing something out of, you know, out of fear or doing something, you know, wanting you to build something and wanting you to do something and not giving you the credit for it, not acknowledging you for it, not paying you for it, um, not caring how hard it is on you. This is someone that is like, they don't care if, you know, you have to make them great with your blood, sweat, and tears. It's almost like, And someone doesn't want, like, you know, this is not something that they wanted. It's like, you do this or you're going to be punished. Build this for me, you know. But it's like, you doing all the work and somebody treating you less than a slave you doing all of the work and they get to reap the rewards of the outward appearance or, you know, like the outward outcomes, whether this is causing an increase in wealth, whatever it is that you were slaving to do, someone is seeing that they were, you know, they put you in a space of oppression and kind of had you in a space of servitude where it's like, you have to do for them no matter how it, it, if it like, if it hurts you or if it's straining on you, or if you're not being rewarded or appreciated or treated fairly, it's like wanting you to do work and then still beating you, still beating on you, still wanting, you know, like wanting you to be subservient and being a slave to their cause just to what is beneficial to them only. And then after the work is done, they get the credit for it. And then you get, to, you know, you go sit down 
go to your slave quarters and go over there and then wait until, you know, they need you to make them great again. Um, dang, I'm sorry, collective. Somebody feels like they were doing this out of being um, petty. This was out of jealousy and envy. You know, somebody could have really just been in competition with you or in opposition with you if they wanted so much from you. One sided, you know. Yeah. So um, this person could want to come in and make some type of apology or like some type of flirty or playful apology or something like that. Because the fact that you have always heard from the divine, it's like you've always received spiritual insight and divine counsel and messages. This has always been how you defeat your enemies. You know, this has always been how you have been so strong. This is how you can stand and, you know, someone could even look down on you and you're so victorious because you receive these messages, you receive this um, wise counsel from the divine. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody feels like, you know, you are very ambitious and, you know, like you use your experiences and new opportunities to level up <clears throat> and to change your perspective, to really learn something new or make sure you're bringing in, you know, some type of good news. You really like dive into prospects and you do this fearlessly. Someone feels like, you know, like you're, you're very much. You're not a player. You're not someone that's just supercharged by passion or by doing this or doing that or whatever. But when it comes to you knowing that you're able to bring in good news, when you know that there's a new opportunity, when you know that, you know, you're going to have some type of uh, level up or you're going to be able to learn something or there will be something that you can get out of this. This is when you take action. And this is very charming. Someone sees this as being very charming. This person, um, you know, like they feel like they can see very clearly. Once this tower hit, this could have really been a chaotic scene um, where someone was, something is being revealed that someone was being very oppressive to you or there was something that was happening here. It could have been like someone not wanting to, I don't know, like they don't want to let you go. They want to chase you down. If this was like an employer or something like that or something to do with employment, someone wanting to chase you down. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever, they're awakening to, you know, they're seeing this. This is a rude awakening. They, they see very, very clearly that you are trusting this faith, your walk, your faith walk, that you've cleansed your spirit psychologically, spiritually. There's been a cleansing here. Yeah, and they're getting this message. Archangel Gabriel. Yeah. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, thank you. Please clarify the rest of this message here for the collective. For God's collective. Thank you. So yeah, someone feels like you're able to stand in this, this very strong space because of your intuition, your spiritual gifts. It, it brings you so much guidance. You know, I have the high priestess. 
and you are picking up momentum in the things that you need or the things that you are working on and you're keeping this quiet could be that you're just trusting or they feel like you know you're able to keep quiet on a lot of things that you're you're doing or that you know because you're spiritually guided in that way so you not taking um you know, you're not taking fast action or whatever, or it's like this person thought that them not taking fast action towards you would leave you in a space where you lack direction, you'd feel trapped or confined or something like that. And they're seeing now that, yeah, they had the wrong mindset with that. You are seeing things from a totally different perspective. And now you don't, yeah, you're letting this go. You're not lacking direction. You're just letting this go. And someone could have thought, you know, you'd be stuck. But they feel very, you know, delusional and unrealistic to even try to replace you or to want to recover after that. It's like somebody's conscience is kicking in. I have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Somebody is seeing something now that you're just way too intelligent. You're way too um, highly, I mean, like you are just highly favored by the divine. You know, this person feels like God has not only blessed you with wisdom, but your wisdom continues to produce more wisdom. And now that it's your voice um, or it's a mother figure's voice concerning you in this person's mind, they are acknowledging the fact that you have always given them nuggets of wisdom. There's always been, and this person is just, you know, a little rigid. This is like someone that, um, you know, they don't mind being in a one-sided connection where you put in all your efforts to make them great, regardless if they say thank you or they even make eye contact with you or anything. Pharaoh felt entitled to what the Hebrew slaves could do for him. They built him up to be very great. Egypt was a very great kingdom, a very wealthy kingdom. And it was because they had the children of the most high God enslaved, building something for them, being oppressed and depressed, but doing it out of fear. So, you know, this is also like someone feeling as though, um, you know, making you feel like if you don't do something, there's going to be consequences for you or something like that. But in a way, Yeah, if this is concerning work, somebody wanting to be oppressive with you like that, you know, almost like, well, you can do this, you got to do this, do that, or I'm going to tell your boss, or there's going to be this, or there'll be that. Um, if God is your boss, <laughs> this is like somebody wanting to be oppressive to you and then going to God and telling on you that you don't want to build something for them, or you don't want to do something in, in, <laughs> enslaved without reward, without appreciation, without even being a part of <laughs> like anything beneficial for you. Not that that's always the, you know, going to be the case. Of course, we love to do things like, I know you're a cheerful giver. I'm a cheerful giver. Um, but when you feel like you're in some level of emotional or mental suffering or torment because someone wants to, you know, like, like I said, if God is your boss and they're like, well, I'm going to tell God on you. So then you are not going to have these gifts. God is going to like, what? God searches the inward parts of a man, not just what comes out of someone's mouth. So it's like someone's heart could really have been searched and God could have really exposed something to this person and shown them, you know, like they're realizing now how oppressive and tyrannical they could have been towards you. And that's why you moved away. That's why you walked away. You moved away. 
you went towards peace, you know. Or it's like this, you know, energy just have you healing. Yeah, because it's like the slaves never, they didn't say no, they were just exhausted. They were just really mentally, physically, emotionally drained and afraid of, you know, Pharaoh. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll just take it how it fits. Um... And if it doesn't apply to you, don't, you know, make it fit. Yeah, but this person feels like they were childish. They want they were being childish to want to like battle or be clashing with you or something. It's like they see um They could want to bring you some happy news. Or this is like they know that you they know that you feel intuitively like they were they were doing something childish. Like this is how they feel like you see this as like them being childish or. Somebody could admire you or they want to bring you some type of happiness or something like that. They could be intuitively led to send you like a playful apology or to give you some type of emotional investment or some type of positivity. Because like I said, it's like you've always heard uh, the voice of God, you know, like you've always received this level of guidance. And this is what keeps you so strong and defeating your enemies. This is what keeps you so brave and so confident, so in control of what's going on with you and your life. And this is like bringing in happiness for your family. There could have been something specifically that you were guided to do, that God guided you to do. In regards to family, But whatever it is, there's something that you heard, the voice of God told you something like this. This is how you're able to have these successful outcomes. And, you know, you just step fearlessly into your new opportunities. Like if it seems spontaneous or whatever, you know, like you're not a foolish person, but you're definitely original. And so you understand that if you step into something new, this is something you've never done before. Yeah, this person feels like this is just, you know, like the voice of God keeps you strong. This is what gives you wisdom. This is what helps you defeat your enemies. This is how you set your goals. And this person feels like they didn't see this. They didn't know that you were so intuitive. They didn't know just how quickly you understand or just how brave you are. They didn't know like, you know, like you, you see past illusions and deception. Yeah. Yeah. This person feels like you are very emotionally mature. You're very kind. You're a very happy person. You bring a lot of peace. You bring a lot of loyalty. Um, they feel like, you know, you could be shy at times or even easily wounded because of the sensitivity that you have for emotions and for other people's emotions. Like your intuition is typically firing off. There's just a lot that's been illuminated to this person in regards to the way that you stand on this, you know, unmovable trust in, in your faith. And this is literally wiping so much clean. This is like literally cleansing a lot. Somebody even feels like it's your psychic abilities or your intu your intuitive abilities, your gifts.
But it's like now they see your sensitivity. Now they see your, um, you know, like the beauty in you being this day, this dreamer, you having this emotional balance. They see that you're not lacking any type of direction or you're not lacking trust in this process. You're not lacking, you know, you're very, you're do something is just very mature. And it's like, I have Archangel Gabriel. They could have really been getting like spiritual downloads, just messages from the divine in regards to your power, your gifts, how you manifest your desires. You have a lot of skill. And, you know, this person feels like you have really been able to cleanse so much out of your life. You've been able to cleanse mentally, cleanse emotionally, spiritually, physically, or whatever. If this is like a purging, you're very, very different. And it's like someone sees these nurturing qual. <laughs> what? Hang on. Shiloh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone sees your nurturing qualities. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Lights out? I don't know. Could be lights out for somebody. Stop, Shiloh. What don't they do that in like they do that in like jail or like certain um spaces? Like your person could be in the service, they could be um, in a boot camp or something, there could be in a prison. There's something about lights out, and it's kind of ironic when the lights go out for this person. They, they could be just getting into something like, oh man, and then <laughs> like, oh man, the lights go out. Um, that could be significant, seriously. But yeah, they feel like your hard work your skill, you could have this gift of gap. You could be a smooth talker. You could be someone that has mastered your emotions and your communication. You're not a manipulator. There's nothing, you know, cunning or deceptive about you. You don't put forth illusions. And that's because you're highly intuitive and sensitive. You really stay open to that given exchange and love. You really do. And it's like this person is getting these messages now. They're being very much illuminated to just how strong your faith and your belief system is, just how, you know, how cleansed your spirit, your spirit man is. Yeah. Somebody feels like, you know, you've always been able to. It's like your quick thinking is what's always been able to gain you this momentum in life. And all of it is coming together now. And they're seeing now like, okay, okay. If you were being defensive or if there was, you know, some level of aggression or whatever on either side, someone is really seeing the truth. They're very much persuaded <laughs> by your inner strength by your courage and your bravery. This is what is really eye-opening for them. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. <laughs> I love you. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.